Hi guys, I'm David from Chidofine. Today I'm in Krakow and in the video of today I have a really special guest. His name is Maciek. He's a really cool guy that has an amazing blog also. Welcome Maciek to this channel. Hello, thank you. Thank you for having me. In the video of today I will be asking him some personal questions uh, about his life in Poland, but also professional questions about his amazing blog. Okay, let's start. So Maciek, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Zeszów. Uh, I'm from Poland, so yeah. I'm a local. I've never been in your city. Is it, is it a good city to visit? Or? I mean, it's called one of the most secure, safest cities really? in Poland, one of the cleanest. You definitely should go there. It's a little okay. bit smaller than Krakow, but it has a soul. It has its own soul. It has its own character. Where do you live? The biggest adventure in my life was to move from one Polish city to another. It was like two hours from one to another. Right Krakow? now I'm living in the beautiful city of Krakow. Yeah? Why did you decide to move here? I came here for my studies and uh, it wasn't really my own decision, at least it wasn't a very serious decision because it's a very natural thing that young Poles yeah. after their high school move from smaller towns to bigger ones and people in Zeszów have really two real choices between Warsaw and Krakow, so most of the people split between those two places. The biggest percentage of my colleagues went to Krakow, so I just followed the traffic I went where they <laughs> went. One of the traffic. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> what is your favorite city in Poland? I don't live I don't mind living in Krakow. I don't mind spending my whole life here. The only point is that we need to city. get rid of smog and then everything will be <laughs> and then it's perfect. Will be perfect yeah. So yesterday I, when I was coming here it was like the hottest day of the year, like 37 degrees. And now when I decided to go out and explore the city it started to rain. <laughs> so like the weather in Poland is super crazy for me. Do you like it? Do you like the weather in Poland? I like two months, uh, April and May. April and, and May, and that's, that's it. it. That's it, and I'm finished. The rest of the year <laughs> I'm mostly complaining on the weather, so the answer is no. So, do you like Polish food? Which is your favorite dish? It's, it's part of me. Yeah? And I don't have any kind of the best Polish You don't have a favorite food. one? Okay. Do you like Tatar? I've never eaten Tatar, and... I don't think I will ever, I will be ever awesome. able to. <laughs> I hate <laughs> it. <laughs> it's, it's so, it's, I, I don't get the concept, you know, of raw meat. You know. Right. And what do you do in Poland now? Are you still studying, working? Uh, what are you doing? I'm still a student. I still have one year of my study. What do you study? Uh, I study linguistics, Polish linguistics, and that's my real advantage because I hope And that you should teach me Polish. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> I can do this. I also built a blog that we are discussing today and start yeah. my concierge business. So I assist expats in all kinds of offices. I help with the registration procedures, I help in the city halls, I help in ZUS and I've said all kinds that you that you really need the Polish speakers to deal with the problem. Uh, this blog, uh, its name is Just Ask Poland, Just right? Ask Poland, exactly. The name of this blog represents the simple idea. Uh -huh. I want to learn about your struggles from your questions, so you should just ask me. I want to know what I should write about. When you started this project? So the project was started in November 2016. Okay. And the idea was very simple. At, the, at this point, I had no idea what are the true, uh, true problems of expats living in Poland. Expats usually contact me only in, in the most difficult cases, when they're not able to solve some problems on their own. And many of those questions are really complicated. So in my mind, my imagination of being an expert is that it's a very, very complicated thing. And you need to deal with many very difficult things. Which is your most successful article in your blog? was an article about average salary in Poland. And which I, is the average salary? What I can tell you at this point is that minimum wage in 2016 was 1,850. And the average salary uh, in 2016, in the second quarter... In Poland? In Poland, yeah. was 4,245. Brutto or netto? It's gross. Brutto. Okay. So those data changed quite a lot, so yeah. you need to stay tuned with my blog. And I think that the last article about the average salary was published almost a year ago, so quite soon I will need to publish yeah, an updated data, so there you will find the most recent information on this topic. And the article that was the biggest sensation among expats living in Poland was definitely an article describing what is a personal income tax in Poland and how to submit the tax declaration every year because I've translated all the forms from Polish to English. What I really like about this is that I also learn a lot about my own country when I write my articles. Yeah. 
because I need to be totally sure that the knowledge that I'm giving in my articles is, is confirmed. So I need to contact officials, I need to contact press secretaries, I need to ask about the content that I'm going to publish, and then I need to first understand my own country and I need to be able to explain it in a foreign language. It's an amazing experience and it, teach, and it gives you a lot of new knowledge. And if someone sends you a message, yep. like any kind of question, yep. will you reply for sure like to all of them? Yes? I reply to all, of, uh, all kinds of questions. You need to just ask me. When you ask me, I will answer your questions, and after that, the most frequent questions will be described on my blog. What is the future of Just Ask Poland? So we have one main goal, and it is to build the most extensive information hub, information center for expats living in Poland. And right now we have only a blog, but this will uh, be transformed into the biggest info center, the biggest info hub for expats in yeah. the future. What I want to do is, I want to bring lawyers, accountants and all kinds of professionals to one information platform. I want to provide them with translators, I want to provide them with a number of readers keen to read their articles. And for that, you as expats and me as a blogger, we will get the knowledge that we really need published in English. Okay. So the main idea of my articles is that I want to describe stuff in a way that will enable expats to solve their problems on their own without yeah. having this necessity to ask anyone for help. That's awesome. Yeah. Can you give any recommendation to someone that is considering to live in Poland? Think about three things. First thing will be your net salary, not gross one. You need to to ask for the net salary. <laughs> yeah, you need to ask for the net salary and you need to compare it with the second thing that is the cost of living in Poland. Mm -hmm. this, will, this is changing from year to year, you need to track yeah. statistics. And the third thing is try to read about social security systems, old age pension, health, health, uh, health insurance before you will come to Poland. Guys, if you are considering to live in Poland, you should totally follow his blog. Uh, this guy is awesome, he's an expert and, you know, just visit his blog and discover it by yourself. Thank you, Maciek, once again. And Thank you. I will be happy to have you on my blog and please ask me your questions so that I know what to write about. Okay, so thank you, man. To the next video. We are more and more able... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>